Howdy folks, welcome to a beautiful Sunday afternoon out here just after the snow, everything's melting. Anyway, I thought I'll just do a quick update, a more specific update on our work permit extension application that I told you last time about that they now say we need to get an LMIA even though Belinda is part of the um, PNP nomination program. So what happened was that Belinda went back to the and uploaded a letter and stated well you know here's all our details we are on the pnp program we've got a uh LMI, we've got a work permit support letter from the provincial national program or provincial nomination programs um so we don't think we need an lmia what exactly is it that you want and then they came back from the ircc with the following Dear Belinda, this is in reference to your application, blah, blah, blah. The following documents are required to pro continue processing your application. Um, client information. Receipt of information from client. Please provide a valid LMIA exempt ID under the T1313 category along with a $230 employer compliance fee. Your prospective employer is responsible for obtaining a valid LMIA exempt ID. Your employer may apply for an LMIA exempt ID through the employer portal. This must be received at this office by 10th of March, pretty much. So basically what they are saying is that we don't, Belinda doesn't need to get an LMIA. She needs to get an LMIA exempt ID or her employer needs to get an LMIA exempt ID for her under the T13 category. Now the T13 category is in fact the PNP program falls under the T13 category. So I'm not exactly sure what this means, but from what it looks like to me, it means that um, Belinda's employer needs to go, well, she's got this letter from, well, I don't know, she's got this letter of support from the provincial national program, uh, provincial nominee program, and um, they just need to pay $230 and get a, 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 an ID. And then once the ID is there, they, they will issue the work permit. Um, not sure, I've not, never heard of this before, I haven't a, a, in, you know, encountered it at all. So Belinda has sent a letter to her employer, to the HR department. I mean, luckily they've employed lots of people from all over, so maybe they would know and maybe they actually have the portal and maybe they can just quickly do it. We'll see how it goes. But at the very least, we've got until the 10th of March to submit this and uh, we're all holding thumbs that... Um, before that time we actually get our PR and then all of this becomes irrelevant. It is a little silly though, I gotta tell you, that we have to go through all of these processes with all of these simulta simultaneous applications just because we're waiting for PR. Uh, somebody commented on our on the, my previous video that we could get a bridging work permit, which is something we've not actually looked into but i'm definitely going to if this one doesn't work out but then again like i'm saying like i said you know the reality is from all the timelines we've seen online from everything we've encountered so far and from other people i mean we should be on the verge of getting the pr we've done everything we've we've gone through the process it's all done we've we've seen all the steps happen so within the next few days within the next few weeks hopefully it should come through although i have been saying that since december but anyway we are going to um process and carry on with the work permit application because i mean i don't think it's ideal to just stop it and cancel it at this stage i mean i suppose we need to carry on with it so that is it for our update on our immigration status. We will see what Belinda's work comes back with. And if there's anything interesting, I'll let you guys know. For the rest, let's hope we get our PR soon. All right, folks, you all must have an absolutely beautiful day. Cheers from this beautiful, cold, sunny, snowy Vancouver. Um, it's amazing. Cheers.